who are these people? Uh, Michael uh, Jan- James and Tina Alberson. That's a good question to ask, Jane. I mean, it's, it's, th- these mantras actions, and hardly any words can describe how disgusting this case truly is. I mean, this 10-year-old adorable little boy to be locked in a room in 100-degree weather without air conditioning, made to stand in front of a window with the sun beating down on him and deprived of water for five days, five grueling days in that hot chamber, Jane. And then on the fifth day, he finally died. And as though that wasn't bad enough, his twin brother was forced to watch this appalling torture go on, afraid, afraid to give his twin any water, Jane, because he thought he would be next. While the parents of this little angel have finally been arrested and they're in jail and they've both been charged with bodily injury to a child, let's hope this horror will never happen again. Well, why not murder? Apparently they can get 99 years in prison for the uh, bodily injury to a child uh, charge, but I think they should have been charged with murder, personally. Now, uh, a little Joseph wanted desperately to help his twin, Jonathan, but he was too terrified of his father and his stepmom. Uh, check this out. It's, uh, this boy is very, very articulate. Unbelievable courage that he's showing in the face of this. Listen. I didn't do nothing because I would get in trouble. I wanted to do something, and I couldn't do nothing about it. And because if I said something, I would end up getting in trouble too. Now, eventually, the little boy's body just couldn't take it anymore. He was deprived of water for five days in the Dallas heat. His brother was right there when the child collapsed. We picked him up and we leaned him over the kitchen chair. He was shaking and moaning. Uh, Dr. Dale Archer, we need a psychiatrist for this one because it, it's just so depressing. It makes you want to, I can't even say. It's, uh, uh, okay, for a couple questions. One, the kids didn't want to live with this dad. This was a court-ordered uh, visitation for the summer. Uh, and secondly, why would they torture one twin and the other remain completely unscathed? What's that about? Well, you know, that's always hard to predict, Jane, but very often when you have an anger or hatred toward a child, it's because you see something in him that reminds you of yourself. And if you look at the picture of the father, and if you look at the picture of the twins, one of them looked exactly like the father, whereas Joseph really didn't look like the father. So was it something that he didn't like about the way the boy looked? We don't know. But clearly this is a, you know, I've been practicing psychiatry for over 20 years, and I've seen a lot of horrific cases. This is the worst. This is as bad as it gets. I have never seen anything this cruel or horrific in terms of treating a child. Now,